Hey guys, welcome back to our next set of Japanese lessons. Thanks so much for all your feedback on the first one. I'm definitely taking everybody's advice into consideration, good and bad points, and I'll continue to improve these as I make more and more. Just one quick note before we start. Uh, some people have talked about using some of this uh, at work or uh, in a professional environment. Please be careful. This language is not formal level Japanese and uh, can actually maybe get you into trouble if you try to use this uh, in a formal or business setting because it's pretty rough uh, street Japanese that some might find pretty appalling to use uh, in a very professional environment can actually get you in trouble. I've actually done it myself by accident when I first got to Japan. So please try to just use this with very close friends or close family, okay? So today's lesson is going to be about some Nihon no Jinkaku, which means Japanese personalities or Japanese characters. And in this I'm going to talk about uh, some types of people that are unique to Japan and some unique personalities in Japan. So let's get into that. Alright, our first personality and one that might be despised yet celebrated in Japan is the Gyaru. Gyaru. Almost sounds like girl. Gyaru. Okay? And the Gyaru, also sometimes known as uh, Yamaba, is uh, a girl who gets a really dark tan in Japan, actually goes to a tanning booth to get a darker tan, then puts white makeup around uh, the eyes, almost looking like a raccoon, and is notorious for being the typical party girl in Japan. Um, they're pretty, pretty wild people. They're, they can get pretty crazy and they really know how to party down. So if you're looking for some friends who really want to party hard, look for the Gyaru. Our next personality type is the Buriko. Buriko. And the Buriko is a type of girl that would um, actually be quite intelligent but pretend to be uh, ditzy or kind of an airhead. And as sad as it is to say, there is an appeal of women being um, seen as uh, a little dumber than what you might expect or uh, to downplay their intelligence. And um, that's actually a type of personality that's played out in Japan and um, is sometimes you can see it on shows or um, variety shows and stuff like that where people will pretend they have this character of the buriko, okay? And that's kind of like the pretend ditzy, okay? Our next type of personality is the Yankee, pronounced just like Yankee, okay? The English Yankee word, okay? And the Yankee is pretty much the male version of the Gyaru and uh, this is once again a person who, uh, a, a man this time, who gets the dark tan sometimes from either being a, a blue collar worker, uh, not that there's anything wrong with blue collar workers, but sometimes it tends to be outside labor intensive jobs which uh, in turn cause a deep tan. Or sometimes they do go out of their way to go to tanning booths to get the darker tan. And these are once again uh, a little bit of rougher crowd here in Japan and they too know how to party it up quite as well and are pretty much the male equivalent to the Gyaru, and that is Yankee. Easy to remember, Yankee. Our next is one I'm sure many people are already familiar with if they know even a little bit about Japan, and that is the Otaku. Otaku. And Otaku is pretty much um, the Japanese version of a nerd. But Otaku actually translates to uh, mania, or being manic over something. Um, and you can actually say what type of otaku uh, you are. For instance, if you really like Gundam or you really like Sailor Moon, you can say I'm Gundam no otaku. Okay? Namely, I'm really crazy about Gundam. I love Gundam. And uh, otaku can be for just about anything. And recently it's actually starting to become cool. Like some people are starting to say I'm fitness senta no otaku, which means I really like to work out at the gym. So that's otaku. Our next personality type is the hikikomori, and sometimes it's just abbreviated as hiki, okay? And the hikikomori is 
actually uh, the Japanese version of a shut-in or a recluse, uh, someone who pulls up into the room and never comes out. And uh, sadly, this is uh, kind of a social disease that runs rampant in Japan. Um, it's estimated there's about two million hikikomori in Japan, and uh, they're mostly male, actually. Not as many females as there are male uh, hikikomori. And there's actually a great book um, called, I believe it's called Blocking Out the Sun. Um, and it's a great book about hikikomori if you're really interested in learning more about those. But that's pretty much the Japanese version of uh, a hermit or a recluse. Hikikomori or hiki. Our next type is the salaryman or also known as riman or salaryman. Okay. And this is uh, probably the personality type uh, that you're going to see quite a bit of if you ever ride the train, loaded full of Saliban. And um, they're usually the people who are going to work for a salary regularly, wear a suit uh, to work every single day, even in the summer, a full suit. And uh, they're a pretty typical personality to see throughout Japan. Um, sometimes notorious, sometimes just as friendly to party with. Um, for the most part they stay pretty conservative but get one of them drunk and you can really see them uh, bloom into social butterflies sometimes but they're always gonna try and get home uh, by 11 o'clock and take that last train. The Saruman. The next one is one that I sometimes love and sometimes hate and that's the Obachan or Baba. Okay. And Obachan is pretty much your Japanese equivalent to what you would consider a soccer mom. Um, I've found sometimes these people can be extremely helpful and kind, but also sometimes extremely rude, pushing in front of me to get into the train or almost, me knock, almost knocking me over to take a seat on the train. So that's the Baba or Obachan, okay? Do not get in these ladies' way when they are angry because hell hath no fury, I swear. So we talked about meeting all these different types of personalities today. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a final sentence uh, to say, I want to party, okay? So if you meet one of these people, you can say, I want to party with you, okay? Or let's go party. And uh, pretty much a, a loose translation of that is, Boku wa nori nori da ze. More slowly, Boku wa nori nori da ze. And I've just said that in a very more manly way, uh, you could say ore wa, okay, or for the girls, atashi wa, okay, but for a guy, boku wa nori nori da ze, okay, I want to go party, let's go party, okay, hope that helps, if you have any questions about what I've talked about today, please send me a message or comment on here, I'll see you next time on Japanese Street Slang.